Let's talk about annotation tools. And if you're looking at our mouse here, it's floating to the left. This is where you can find your annotation tools. Click and your annotation tool menu will open. Now from here, you can add text and do all sorts of things to help you keep track of your chart, notes, and just general reminders about price action and levels to watch. So we're gonna walk through each of these in this video. We are going to show you how you can use all of these annotation tools to create great charts, to take notes, and just to do the research that you need to do to make better decisions. So the first thing we're going to do is show you the text tool. It's as simple as it sounds. We select the text tool, click a point, and now of course we can write things like all time highs, and we can change the color. So watch the color here change, by the way. Let's double click. And let's change this color to, let's do blue. And of course we have bold, we have italics, our text box. We can add a background color. We can add a border. And we can also use text wrap. And we'll leave text wrap on for now. And text wrap essentially works like this. We select the box. And now we have this drag and slide tool here. And when we make it smaller, it compresses the text to fit in this text wrap. And of course, when we make it larger, the text expands. So that's our first annotation tool, text. It's as easy as clicking text and writing anything on your chart. Now let's talk about anchored text. Anchored text is really helpful if you want to have a floating note on your chart that never leaves your vision. So for example, why don't we leave a note here that just says, this is our annotation video. And we will just do bold and we'll give this a background. And let's also give it a border and click OK. Now, this is our anchored note. So we're gonna have this note, this anchored note just float here and watch what happens it stays put, it's following us as we move, whereas our other note stuck here next to the price and it did not follow us as we moved around the chart. So that is the difference between a text note and an anchored note. Let's keep moving, or the text tool in the anchored text, now we'll show you notes and anchored notes. So you click the note tool, and the note tool is helpful for you know adding these notes that you want to appear at specific points. So this is a gap. You see this gap here, the area between this price and that price. Let's add a note here. So we're going to click and we're going to say that this is the last, uh, let's say, gap to watch. And background looks good, border's okay. The, it appears to us that the note looks just fine. Let's click okay. And look what happened. We now have this note here, and when we hover our mouse over it, we see what the text says, so you can leave notes this easy. So we hover our mouse, gap to watch. Now an anchored note is just like anchored text. Why don't we just put a note over here to the far right as a reminder, and we'll just say, you know, video by TradingView. Uh, follow us on YouTube and we will leave that there. We'll make the font a little smaller and that should be good to go. Let's click out of it. And now wherever we go around our chart, we have this note following us. And when we hover over it, video by YouTube, video by TradingView, follow us on YouTube. Here's our annotation video as well. And you see the difference between an anchored piece of text and a regular piece of text or an anchored note and a regular note. Let's keep moving on. Now let's talk about signpost. Signpost is a great tool for putting notes at specific price levels. So we're gonna click our signpost. And now what we can do is we can literally find an important moment and add a signpost to that moment. So why don't we click this low here and let's write double bottom and click okay. And with this signpost now, we can drag it down so it really stands out. Let's add another signpost here, and we'll put it on this one, and we'll say double bottom again. And if you are a trader familiar with some technical patterns, as you can see, we're just sort of taking a note of this double bottom. 
we could write a, you know, we could draw a trend line here. It's not a complete double bottom, right? They, it, this level did not actually touch, but that's why we added these question marks because we want to just take this note in, into hand. Was it a double bottom? And we could actually do the same thing here and we could do this. So another trend line and there's a trend line. So these are just price levels to watch. Remember, this is for education and entertainment and we are using these notes just to remind ourselves of what's possible. We are not saying it was a double top for certain or a double bottom, but what we are saying is these are levels we want to keep in mind because the last time it hit this price level, look what happened. And that's key, is just taking note of this price action to build a plan and to be aware of the assets or symbols you follow. And let's just put our all-time highs here. So now what you're watching us do is use our annotation tools to maintain an orderly chart with the notes that we need to have. The signposts here, signposts here, our text marking this all-time high, our note talking about this gap to watch. We have uh, this note in the corner. It's like a, an attribution just reminding us this is video by TradingView. Follow us on YouTube. And some more notes here. This is our annotation video. And you can see them follow us. And here are our notes from before. Let's keep going. Annotation tools. We click the annotation menu and let's get into callouts, balloons, price labels, and these arrows. Okay, so a callout and a balloon and a price label is a lot like, think of a comic book. You know, you can actually now make these custom little callouts. They look like comic book text in a way. And as you can see what we did there, we'll actually start this over so you can really see what we do. We click call out. We find the price level that we're interested in. So actually let's click this and we click and then we drag that call out to where it's easy to see. So let's add this here and let's call this the March crash lows. Let's make the font actually a little smaller. Let's make it a little smaller than that. We can change the opacity of this. Let's make it a dark blue so you cannot miss it. And the border, let's also do this so it also has an extra pop, right? We add this border to it so it really stands out. And why not? Let's make it italics. So now as you can see, we have the March crash lows marked with our call out bubble. Why don't we do a balloon now? The balloon is the same thing as the call out. It's just slightly different in its look, its feel, and the way you can drag and drop it on the chart. And so in this instance, why don't we put a balloon at an important moment in time, which was, if you remember at the time we're recording this video, not long after the uh, COVID-19 crash, and why don't we just make a note with this balloon that says start of the COVID-19 crash. And the font size is good at 12, our background yellow, and let's add a border. And let's make sure this opacity is at its high, because as you can see, the opacity shows you how strong this is, right? So let's keep that there, and let's click OK. And now here you have it. We've just shown you how to use the callout and the balloon and they are different in the fact that the callout can be dragged like this. You see, so we can extend it across the chart and it keeps this type of unique text look and this feel, it's a different feel, whereas the balloon is a simple text balloon that pops out from a specific point on your chart. Okay, let's get closer and closer to going through all of these annotation tools. Let's show you price label. Price label is and it's just a very underrated tool actually. And why do we say that? Well, price label is really cool because what you can do, as you can see, it's that simple. We, collect, we selected price label and clicked a point on the chart. What you can do is just add these labels so you always know what these prices are. So how cool is this, right? We now know these key levels and every time we visit this chart, we can see what these price levels are. So what we've done is we've used the price label annotation tool to highlight this point here, because it's the start before this gap fell. 
this point here because it was this high and sort of this double top formation. Just an interesting price to keep in mind. Maybe it turns into some level of, you know, maybe it turns into some level to watch. Maybe it turns into support, a significant psychological level, just something to take note of. And then, of course, we added the price label to the double top because now we know the price of the double top itself, right? So it's perfect. And we can change, of course, the look and feel of these just as we have every other annotation tool. We open up their settings and let's watch as we change this. I think in this instance, because we're already using blue, we should use a different color. And I think that red is a good color. We'll do a lighter red so that it doesn't, you know, it's not doesn't show on the chart too much. And we will do the font as well. And that's perfect. And let's do that here. So let's change this. Let's change our background to red, change the opacity so it's lighter. And let's not have a border. And as you can see, we are just making our adjustments this quickly by simply double clicking and that's how we do this and we're just going to make sure they all match so that it looks great on the chart and now we have these red price callouts reminding us of the levels to watch on our chart so how cool is this we are we are creating a beautiful chart using our annotation tools and every time we save this chart see it up here we've saved it we will have all of these notes on our chart and so imagine how this chart would look if you did this as you followed your favorite assets. You would almost have your personal diary of your favorite assets saved that you can visit and update. You are creating the price history right here on your chart, and you're also keeping notes that are potentially meaningful and relevant to you. So let's wrap up here and show you a few more annotation tools so that you can use all of these tools when you create your own custom charts. The arrow marker, now as you can see, we selected it, we clicked, and then we dragged. And as you can see, it's this easy to move, and you can place it anywhere. So that was just an example, but let's actually now place it somewhere unique on our chart. And in this instance, what we want to highlight is this recent uptrend. So why don't we do this, and just sort of, there you go. So we're just gonna use this arrow marker to highlight an uptrend. Now watch us, we'll double click. We will now, we'll keep it green because it's up, so an uptrend. Now watch this, this is really cool about the arrow marker. We click text and we will change the color so it stands out and we'll make it smaller at 14. And now what we'll do is say start of recent uptrend, period. Click okay. And now look what we've done. We've added this, let's make sure our text is perfect. We've added this arrow here bouncing off the double bottom and the text is attached to this arrow. So watch what happens when we drag the arrow now. How cool is that? The text follows us around. And we're just gonna keep this here as our start of our recent uptrend. And that is how you can use the arrow marker. And one thing to keep in mind with the arrow marker is it has this level of customization where you can really make it pop or you can make it barely noticeable. In this case, let's keep it to about this size so you just can't miss the recent uptrend. And of course, if price were to drop back into here, we could remove it or we could add another arrow marker that says start of recent downtrend. And obviously in your settings, you can also change the color to fit your needs. Green is perfect though, because we're trying to mark an uptrend. All right, now we're getting really close to wrapping up. Let us show you quickly here, arrow marker left, arrow marker right, up and down. So we're just gonna add these to our chart. And the reason why we're going to do this is there's no reason to go through each of them one by one. Instead, what we can do is just add them and then of course you can do what's necessary or you can you know learn from this and apply it to your chart so what we'll do is we'll just add this level here as an interesting dip by we will put an arrow here as a point where price was rejected and then we'll put in uh, this left and right arrow it looks like here at this giant this this is a big green candle so we'll have a uh, an arrow pointing at that and then also in this this dip here will have an arrow pointing. 
And what we're doing with these arrows is just adding them as, okay, after the start of the COVID-19 crash, we went down to the March lows, price started to retrace, and right here, someone bought this dip, something happened, and there was just an enormous uh, spike in price, consolidation, and then higher we went. And these arrows are just reminding us of that price action in this level here, because what we could do, we'll move this here, if we were to draw a trend line, and remember, we're just drawing trend lines to remind us of price history. Interesting to see that these were the COVID-19 crash highs, and there was some interesting action in this area. But let's delete that though for now and keep our chart beautiful. Now, as we wrap up, we have one final annotation tool to show you, and that is the flag marker. So we click a flag, and let's just as a quick example, click at our most recent price, and add a flag there. So the flag marker is something that you can add to your chart just as a visual reminder. So this is something that's pretty cool where you can simply just add these flags. So why don't we do green and everything looks good. And you can now just add these flags as points of, maybe you wanna add flags to mark moments on the chart that in your opinion are the start of new uptrends you know in your view when this i'm marking this flag here because to me when it broke these highs and started to climb higher it was the start of a recent uptrend and so you can add these flags on your chart just to catch your attention at these levels now one important thing here is our, our chart is definitely getting a little noisy so we're going to want to clean it up especially before we end this video so the arrow marker tools we actually will remove for now and our flags are interesting. This one though is not so necessary as that's not much of an uptrend. And this looks much better now. Our chart is complete. We will now annotate our chart as time goes on. And of course, we can also go back in time and add as many annotations as we need. So we could create a chart with a complete price history of Apple and all of our annotation tools Remember, this is just uh, entertainment education, and it is a chart of Apple, AAPL. And we hope that this video showed you all of the ways you can use these annotation tools to keep notes, to keep track of your research, to create and share beautiful charts, and most importantly, just to become a better, more informed decision maker for all things in financial markets. So if you enjoyed this video, pr please press like. If you have comments, questions, or feedback, please leave us those in the comments below and our team will do their best to answer them. We are listening to you. We like to build for you. So just share, um, you know, whatever it is on your mind and we'll do our best. Also, if you want to see us create a video in the future for you explaining a key topic, let us know. Okay, thanks for watching.